Hi, I'm Graham Mayers. I'm head chef at M Kitchen, and today we're going to make a fabulous chocolate fruit and nut slab. It's just as much fun to make as it is to eat. Let's get cooking. Okay, the first thing we need to do now is melt some chocolate. So I'm taking some dark chocolate and some white chocolate, and we need to chop that up into small pieces, and this will help the chocolate melt quicker and stop it from overcooking. And I'm doing that by using a bain-marie. A bain-marie, pan of hot water, brought to the boil, and then we place the bowl of chocolate, take a wooden spoon, and this is the most important part. If we heat the chocolate too much, the chocolate will burn. So as soon as it's melted, we need to take it off the heat. The other alternative is if we use a microwave, where you can put the bowl in the microwave, 30 second intervals, take it out, keep stirring it until it's fully melted. I prefer this method because it's a lot more controllable. Another great tip, make sure you don't get any water in your chocolate because this will crystallise the chocolate and it'll be no good. Just keep stirring it. Once the chocolate's melted, remove the bowl from the pan, get yourself a tea towel and just wipe round the sides of the bowl so it's really clean and it's free from moisture and it's free from water. That's perfect. Free from lumps and very smooth. And we do exactly the same with the dark chocolate. We just take the dark chocolate and just randomly just pour it into the tray. It doesn't matter how you pour it in, the messier the better, I say. Then we take the white chocolate and we do exactly the same. And a quick tip, just bang the tray slightly so all the chocolate levels out. So the chocolate fills all the corners. You can take a knife or you can take a skewer. I'm using a skewer. And we're just going to do some random swirls just to make some nice patterns. This is really easy, it's really fun. And it gives it a really good effect. So I'm just going to take some apricots. I'm going to roughly chop them. You can put whole pieces on. It's entirely up to you. This is where all the fun is. There's no rule. And then we're just going to sprinkle them on. And because the chocolate hasn't set, all the fruit will just, once it's set, will all, all stick together. And again, we just sprinkle them on randomly. And then a handful of pistachios. And then I'm just going to finish off with some, some cranberries. That looks absolutely fabulous. What we're going to do now is we're going to set it in the fridge for half hour to an hour, and then it's ready to eat. And there you have it. It's all set up now. I like to have mine in big chunks with a great cup of coffee.